second thing is our speak kindly practice. And the words you choose affect the actions you and others decide to take. So if your transformation is stuck, if <laughs> you feel like you're not going somewhere, then what I want you to do is after you practice speaking kindly, I want you to actually watch your words. And the first speak kindly behavior is to choose your words kindly. Watch your language in speech and email. Oftentimes we're not very, uh, we're not very conscious of the words we speak. We might call people, talk about people in unhuman words, call them resources or FTEs, but those kind of words actually create fear in an organization. Because if we're trying to limit resources or reduce FTEs, then people think, but that's me. I don't want to participate in this because I'm not going to help, uh, you know, remove my job. Also, words like resistors are very negative. We actually label people in our own mind and then we treat them unkindly or choose to act unkindly because if someone is a resistor, maybe we're going to put them to the side, right? We're going to kick them out of that Kaizen event, say, if you're not willing to uh, get along, you don't have to participate. We push them away when in fact, what we need to do is draw them closer to reduce their fear. I also want you to new, use the new words and language of the transformation. Oftentimes in organizations, we say, oh, no, people don't want to hear something new. They won't, don't want to hear a Japanese term. They don't want us to use this new language. But it's super important to use new language because new language of whatever your transformation is suggests and allows people to change from one way of acting to another. And I'm going to say, if you're not sure what words you're using, and if you're not sure about your tone of voice, because that's the next thing we need to make sure to do is tape yourself and listen. Print off an email before you send it and ask someone else to take a look at it. If the words and the tone don't seem kind to them, then chances are they really aren't kind and we should change them. Second is to use a kind tone of voice. When someone is fearful, when you see fight, flight, or freeze, often, especially in a fight situation where someone just simply says, I'm not going to do this their voice raises and our voice raises, right? So we can talk them down. We can be louder than them. If we talk louder, they're gonna get it. We're gonna be forceful. They're gonna see that this is really important and the organization has to do it. I'm gonna counsel you to do the opposite. Lower your voice, moderate your voice. Because when people shout at us, when people speak in a sarcastic manner, when people speak in a condescending way, actually we feel more fear. When we lower our voice, people will co-regulate and moderate and lower their voice too. And when we're speaking calmly and warmly and kindly, and we have that kind tone of voice, others fear is going to dissipate. I'm gonna say, even if you don't feel like it, smile. <laughs> when you smile, people can hear it in your voice. Use kind words, use a kind tone of voice. Say please, say thank you. And all those things are gonna help reduce and eliminate fear and create trust. And last is honestly, if it's not kind, don't say it. Think before you speak. If you are not sure that the person you're speaking to will think what you're going to say is kind, don't say it. This is, takes a lot of strength, right? <laughs> it's a lot easier to shout at someone and say, I told you you're going to work in this way. We're doing this transformation and you're going to do it. Then it is to give yourself a timeout. Think, I see fight, flight, or freeze from this person. And what I need to do is lower my voice, 
calm myself down, go to them and say, I see this behavior that you're having. Maybe you don't notice that every time I book a meeting, then you actually cancel the meeting. I think, I think maybe, you know, you might be feeling nervous about doing what we're doing. Can we sit down and talk about this for a little while? Can you tell me about what you're feeling and how I could help you? Right? If it's not kind, don't say it. 